Hey, happy travelers. We are the Awkward Tourists. We've spent the past two weeks exploring Iceland's Ring Road in a happy camper's camper van. This morning, we headed back to Reykjavik to return our van and decided that we should head straight to the Blue Lagoon for some much needed relaxation. We just returned our camper van after two weeks on the road. This ended up being about 15 minutes from the Happy Camper's office, so I figured it was a perfect opportunity to spend the rest of the day here. It's pretty cool. It's in the middle of this awesome lava field, which is kind of apropos because it's very close to the volcano we went to two weeks ago. Because Iceland is such a volcanically active island, there are tons of hot springs all over the country. Most of them are pretty small though. Some are on private land. There are a few bigger ones that you have to pay to get in but Blue Lagoon is by far the most famous, probably because of its proximity to the Keflavik International Airport. It's only about 20 minutes away. Okay, we've completed step one of Blue Lagoon entry. You go in to each respective locker room and they give you these little wristbands and that's how you get in and out of your locker. And then you have to shower with no swimwear thing in order to keep the water the cleanest it can be. And then they said put conditioner in your hair because it can really dry out your hair, all the minerals and stuff. We booked the most basic package. There are two packages. Our package includes a drink, entry obviously, a towel, and one of the silica face masks that I'm super excited to do. But the premium one, includes like a reservation at the restaurant and a bathrobe and a second face mask and a couple other things like that. It was an extra $15 or so. We paid 44 euros a piece, which is a little pricey, but it's a whole experience here so far and we haven't even gotten into the lagoon, so worth it in my opinion. We have made it in the water. It's nice. I don't know what the temperature is. It's not super hot. It's definitely a temperature that you could stay in for like hours and be fine, which is really nice. And it feels soft. You can feel the silica on your feet. You kind of see it on the edges here. It's gonna be a very relaxing time. It was a good call for us to come here after that camper van trip because that was a lot of go, go, go and- Being cold. Being cold. <laughs> Included with the price of admission, you get a free drink and they have a bar that is in the lagoon. Yeah, so you don't even have to get out of the water. You can do alcoholic or there's also non-alcoholic, just in case. So as we were sitting here enjoying our drinks, a really loud like generator noise came on found out that they pump water up from a geothermal source that's 2,000 feet below the surface. Probably from the crazy volcano that's erupting like a mile from here. <laughs> yeah, and this spot right here is super warm and nice. Yeah, the whole lagoon isn't a consistent temperature. There are parts that are, I wouldn't say cool, but not as warm, and there are parts that are very hot tub-like, yeah, so which is why I'm standing right here. <laughs> yeah, I think we're going to keep kind of cruising around and find a real nice spot, find a good spot. spot. It smells a little sulfury right here, though. Yeah, a little bit. That's okay, though. Small price to pay. Hello. So the whole lagoon is about four feet deep or so, so you don't really have to worry about being able to swim. You can stand pretty much everywhere as long as you're over four feet tall. And I don't know if we mentioned this before, but this lagoon is actually runoff from a geothermal power plant, which is right nearby. Man-made. And a lot of the pools in Iceland are like that, powered with geothermal water, but they are created and regulated to keep the temperature just right and keep it nice and clean. So we got 
the silica mud masks. This is included with our admission. If you pay for the premium admission, you get a second mask as well. This is supposed to be good for skin conditions, including eczema and psoriasis. I don't have any of that, but I think it's still going to be good for me. And I'm dripping, so I'm going to put it on there. Kevin's never done a face mask before, so he doesn't know what's what's coming to him. <laughs> I got these mirrors around so you can get it real good. Mud mask in my nose. <laughs> kind of dripping in the beard a little bit. So you're supposed to leave it on for 10 minutes and then you can rinse it off either in this water or they have fresh clean water coming out of some faucets around. I can already feel it hardening too. Yeah. yeah. I can see it. What do you guys think of our new Instagram filters? <laughs> called the Silica Drip. I know you got a drip going on. What's this? Where are you? <laughs> We're doing the silica mud mass and I've never felt prettier. <laughs> okay, it's been about 10 minutes. We're gonna rinse this stuff off now. You go ahead. Flaky. Okay, just coming off. <laughs> Oh, I got some in my mouth. It doesn't taste good. <laughs> this is salt water, just in case you didn't know that. Uh, Get some right here. <laughs> he doesn't look pleased. How do I look? My turn? Yep. My eyes feel itchy. Oh, my skin actually feels fabulous. Yeah. Very soft. Oh. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. We made it about two and a half hours, which is, I think, longer than I've ever been in a hot tub or a hot spring. Yeah. The definitely. water just was nice enough to where you didn't get too hot. We both feel very relaxed. Yes. But it's getting on dinner time, and we have about 40 minutes to drive back to Reykjavik. Well, that was absolutely delightful. If you're wondering whether or not the Blue Lagoon is worth it, I totally thought it was. Kevin was skeptical at first, but I convinced him and I think he's glad that we went. Uh, I'm so relaxed now, but also so exhausted. After I got out, I realized how tired I was. Kevin's tired too. He ran into the grocery store because the hotel we're checking into is um, an apartment hotel, so we've got a kitchen. We've really saved a lot of money cooking our own food in Iceland. We'll go out a couple times while we're in Reykjavik, but this is just saving us a ton right now. So that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you subscribe down below and hit that thumbs up if you like this one. We do have a couple more adventures in Iceland coming up. Thanks so much for watching guys. This is Kelly from the Awkward Tourists. Peace out. A lot of time this in. A lot of time this in. Oh my god. <laughs> like out a big uh, handful of yogurt here. Let me have. <laughs> Low Icelandic yogurt. Did it take away all my acne? <laughs> no? Okay. Shoot. <laughs>